Hello, church family. This, uh, this last weekend, it marked the beginning of the Christmas season. And on uh, the day after Thanksgiving, my guess is some of you, you went out and uh, you did Black Friday shopping. Some of you cut your trees and trimmed them. For our family on Sunday afternoon, my kids asked to get out all of the Christmas decorations and then start decorating the house, which they did. And by, by the way, as an aside, you know, why does it always seem to take more work for the parents when the kids do the decorating? I don't know what that is, but kids had fun nonetheless. Anyhow, this truly is the most wonderful time of the year. It's, it's a time of excitement, anticipation, Christmas carols, giving, and joy. And man, don't we need that, especially this year. You know, more than any of the lights and cards, gifts and carols, Christmas is about Jesus. And it's easy for Jesus to get lost in the busyness of Christmas. This is one of the reasons that the early church began to celebrate Advent. The Advent season, it includes the four weeks leading up to Christmas, which began this past Sunday. During Advent, we anticipate and celebrate the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, into our world. The original uh, word Advent, it's from the Latin word Adventus, which simply means coming or arrival. This is a season of preparing our hearts for the coming of Christ. Galatians 4, 4 and 5, it says, But when the fullness of the time came, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, so that he might redeem those un who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. This is the true message of Christmas. God sent Jesus that we might become his precious sons and daughters through the forgiveness of our sins by him. Over the next four weeks, in the midst of the busyness of this season, I want to invite you to join Pastor Dan and myself and the rest of our staff in participating in Advent readings. They'll keep our hearts and our minds focused on Jesus as we anticipate the celebration of his birth and all that that means for humanity. These readings will be available on our website, and they'll also be coming out later this week through an email. Church family, let's keep our, our eyes fixed on Jesus during this Christmas season. God bless you, and I hope you have a great day.